When solving radical equations with rational exponents, we need to still isolate the parentheses and then we will raise both sides of our equation to the reciprocal of the fraction. So here in our first example, we are going to subtract 4 from both sides of our equation to leave me with the quantity of 10n subtract 1 to the 1 half equal to 7. So the reciprocal of 1 half will be an exponent of 2, so I will raise both sides of my equation to an exponent of 2. 1 half times 2 would end up canceling, just like the exponent of 2 will eliminate a square root, and the 10n subtract 1 will drop down. 7 squared is 49. To solve for n, I'm going to add 1 to both sides. 10n is going to equal 50. I'm going to divide by 10, and my n is going to equal positive 5. In our second example, my parentheses is already isolated, so I'm going to raise both sides of the equation to the reciprocal of 1 half. So the reciprocal of 1 half is an exponent of 2, so both sides of my equation are going to receive an exponent of 2. The 1 half times 2 will end up canceling, and I'm going to be left with negative 30 plus 11x equal to x squared. Since I have an x squared term, I need to move my negative 30 and positive 11x over to the right side of the equation. So I'm going to add 30, and I'm going to subtract 11x. So I'm going to put those terms in standard form, so I'm going to have the equation x squared subtract 11x plus 30 equal to 0. Now I am going to factor this expression. I'm going to look for factors of 30 that add up to a negative 11. So x subtract 6 and x subtract 5. I'm going to set both of these terms equal to 0 and I'm going to solve them. I get two answers, x equal to positive 6 and x equal to positive 5.